There is no doubt that the Terminator franchise is one of the most popular post-apocalyptic sci-fi action series of all time. Whenever we hear the name, the first thing that comes to mind is heroes like Sarah Connor and the T-800 in Terminator 2, who became iconic protectors to be remembered. But this time, Grace Harper has been introduced newly into the franchise as a successor to them. She resembles the T-800 as a machine and Sarah Connor as a garden angel. In short, she is an enhanced machine, scientifically speaking, augmented human. Grace is a fascinating character and today we dissect her anatomy in detail and tell people that she is more than just a half human and half machine. Who is Grace Harper and how did she come into existence? Grace Harper, portrayed by Mackenzie Davis, is an enhanced super soldier sent by the Resistance from the future 2042 to the past 2020, with a mission to protect young Daniela Danny Ramos, portrayed by Natalia Reyes. In the original timeline, she is shown as a young innocent child who witnessed the destruction of humanity at the hands of an advanced AI technology, Legion, created by Cyberdyne Systems in an alternate timeline, which initiated the event of Judgment Day. Much like Kyle Reese in the 1984 Terminator movie, Grace witnessed various situations like a plane crash, her family being slaughtered to death by other survivors, and lastly, being the only survivor left in her family to live and hide due to it. On post-Judgment Day, she is shown to be running with a bag of food and supplies and is cornered by a group of remaining survivors who are about to kill her off. Grace was frightened and begging for mercy until she was rescued by a fierce Danny who made the group realize Legion had an intention for them, which was to kill each and grow extinct much quicker. By doing so, Grace found peace since she saw Danny as a family figure. Therefore, she was raised by her and became a part of the resistance of 2042, just like how John Connor chose Kyle. Since then, Grace has been trained to fight along with the soldiers on the battlefield against the Terminators created by Legion. She became a courageous fighter and excellent combatant who took the risk of escorting a wounded Danny back to base. Still, she later got severely injured while facing off multiple Rev-9 units. Grace eventually volunteered for the augmentation program to boost her strength and stamina and fight along the resistance to capture a TD chamber, time displacement equipment, and jump back in the past to follow a Rev-9 sent to the year 2020 to hunt down and terminate young Danny. It's apparent by the nature of Grace that she is a replica of Kyle Reese, who would do anything to ensure the survival of humanity and get the mission done successfully. She is an inspiring protege like Kyle and a person with a never-give-up attitude, which fits perfectly within the scenario. How does Grace fit into the time travel paradox in the movie? The time travel concept in Terminator Dark Fate differs from that of the first two installments of the franchise because in the opening sequence of the movie, a new T-800 was initially sent by Legion to assassinate young John Connor, which was successfully done, and therefore a new event took place that replaced the existence of Skynet and its Judgment Day motives. That was all possible because of the frequent time traveling events from the first Terminator movie that must have hampered the time loop, which went on and on in a never ending manner thanks to the franchise makers. It was based on the Novikov self-consistent principle which held that the probability of changing the past is zero and the people had to be consistent with what already happened back then. So this time travel paradox has nothing to do with Grace, Kyle, or any other character here since it's done unintentionally by the franchise's creators to live with a mind-boggling thought. Officially, Grace fits perfectly in this convoluted plot hole just because her existence has a connection with Legion and Danny, just like Kyle has with Scott Skynet and the Connors. Exploring our unique human cyber physiology. Here, Grace is overall a human but what makes her different is she is much more enhanced than any human or a machine can ever be. She is treated as an advanced machine fighter with better thinking, combat strategies, and skill sets any Terminator has ever had in itself. Compared to Sarah Connor, she is much more emotionally connected to Danny due to her human nature. She is a cyber hybrid built through a successful augmentation surgery, by which she was embodied with similar combat attributes as a Terminator far greater than that of any ordinary human. She is an embodiment of both human and machine, much like Mark Marcus Wright from Terminator Salvation, who underwent a similar procedure excluding the combat skills. Grace can emotionally feel like a human and strategically sense any possible occurrence like a machine. Grace is like an enhanced super soldier with cybernetic attributes.
How physically strong is Grace? In continuation with her superhuman cybernetic attributes, she exhibits superhuman strength with which she manages to do great things with less effort. She manages to beat down a Reb-9 with a big hammer or throw it against a belt in the factory where Danny and her brother work. She even managed to throw steel bars at a truck driven by the Terminator without issues. Moreover, she successfully pulled it into the rotating crusher of a hydroelectric plant with the help of an aging T-800 Carl, portrayed by Arnold Schwarzenegger. And oh, I almost forgot about the reflex she showed at the beginning of the film when she arrived in 2020 and took down some Mexican cops with ease. Throughout the film, she proves to be one of the most masterful combatants to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Reb-9 Terminator when handling a hammer and trying to kill it rigorously. She also happens to be extremely agile and durable. Furthermore, Grace's combat skills are defined by her fast agility and durability. She can easily foresee any action or movement made by the Terminator Rep 9 and dodge it easily. She is extremely agile in preventing herself from getting multiple attacks from it, especially when she manages to deflect a steel bar thrown by it. In short, she is as quick as Bruce Lee, whose moves are sometimes not noticeable. Also, she is highly resistant to the mighty blows of Rep 9, such as the punches at the factory or even pushing herself violently against a rotating crusher at the hydroelectric power plant to crush it all the way. However, it's to be noted that with all the accelerated strength and speed, sometimes she is found to be recharging her power by utilizing medication and drugs injected into her veins. Despite such a flaw in herself, she managed to survive the explosion at the plant, aside from her mild injuries and scars. How does her enhanced vision work? Another ability she possesses is her enhanced vision. As already said before, she can sense any potential move made by the Terminator. It's all possible because of the HUD heads-up display feature, which transparently offers her data visually, just like the other Terminators have. She primarily uses the HUD system during the chase sequence on the highway, where she aims to throw the steel bars at Rev-9 on the truck's windscreen. The visual is shown in sea green, with a red dot pointing at Rev-9 as a clean shot at its head. This indicates Grace's level of focus and concentration whenever she fights, ensuring she doesn't miss a spot. It's a clean kill, even though there is no stopping the Rev-9 because it can easily overcome it and pursue Grace and the others quickly. What is the major weakness that troubles Grace? Despite all the enhanced augmentation and super cybernetic abilities, Grace is vulnerable. This means she does have flaws such as she runs out of energy and suffers from fatigue whenever she pulls punches with force. Just like a human, she needs to eat, drink, rest, or even inject certain medications like insulin. In the film, the first weakness we see is while driving the truck with Danny after escaping from Reb 9, she begins to feel dizzy and can be seen panting for breath. Danny checks and notices that Grace his body temperature is rising, indicating little feverish symptoms. Danny stops the truck to seek help from the cops, but Grace forbids it since Reb-9 is more advanced and can track them if any digital communication is established for service and she is also running out of time. Therefore, Danny drives her to the nearest drugstore to collect the below-mentioned list of medicines which are anti-convulsant, sodium polystyrene sulfonate, insulin, and benzodiazepine. We see Grace's sensors fading, unable to hold herself up while collecting the medicines, and in most most scenes, Grace is shown carrying at least four insulin syringes in an emergency to replenish her energy. She is mortal after all. Three requesting close air support. We are five clicks out carrying wounded precious Conclusion. To sum it up, Grace was undoubtedly an exciting character that redefined feminism and the Terminator franchise, and she was introduced with some innovative traits and features, which made her a particular type of icon in the audience's eyes. It was also refreshing to see a character embodying both human and machine attributes. If you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.